said one for me. Uh, now you be the only one I see. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ania Danye and if this is your first time here, welcome. Here on this channel, I like to do makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle videos, a little bit of everything. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing, okay? So today I'm going to be telling you all about how I maintain my BBL and maximize my results. I'm going to be sharing some of the vitamins I take, some of them that I need to take more of. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the creams that I use to help my scars and my extra skin. I'm going to show you different forms of compression and I'm going to show you how I use my at-home cavitation machine. So to start off with my vitamins whoa 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 whoa! before we start off let me just do a quick recap for some of y'all who may be new here on my channel if you're new here go ahead click that subscribe button but frequently asked questions i did have a bbl in march um uh, march 29th with dr mihio and mia aesthetics and it is a bbl and lipo 360 you know all the fat in my stomach not all of it because some of it's still there but the fat that he could take out and put it in my butt and my hips um to give me the desired look that I want. My total surgery, including supplies and everything, costs around $11,000, $12,000. I'm not sure the exact amount, but I do have a video on it and I'll leave it above and I will leave it down below in the description box. Really quick guys, I just wanted to give you my stats. Um, I am a 28 in the waist and uh, 46 in the hips. So, and I currently weigh 179. I'm trying to lose weight because of, before the surgery I was 163 and clearly I gained some pounds, but I still love how my body looks and it looks very even so enough talking about that i'm going to jump into the vitamins that i take um right now i am currently four months post out so right now i am taking vitamin d um vitamin c collagen gummies and zinc i take zinc because they said it helps um the vitamin c or d i'm not sure which one but it helps absorb um one of them more and then collagen obviously you know for tight tightening my skin loose skin everything like that collagen helps with skin and these collagen gummies actually have zinc in them but i take this just because i'm extra and they're gummies and they're good so yeah, so collagen made with zinc and then zinc vitamins. So vitamin C and vitamin D, I take these before surgery, two weeks before surgery, and then I stopped and I continue taking them after surgery. I stopped taking them for a while and then I just started recently taking them again because I know I need to get back into it. And it just like for your immune system and everything like that. If y'all don't know what it does, Google it because I'm not sure if I know everything that it does either. So now that we have the vitamins out the way, um, along with like vitamins, it's kind of not a vitamin, but eat healthy guys. Uh, one tip to maintain and maximize your BBL results is eating healthy. It is so hard and I am a victim of it so hard try not to eat anything because your body looking right so you don't got to worry about gaining weight or nothing like that but no the weight will come it will come and it will come in places like this okay it will come in different places uh may not be all back in your stomach or we got your fat taken out but it will come back so reduce your sodium intake reduce the amount of carbs that you're eating the sugars and the alcohol that you're consuming after i got my body done it was summertime so i'm like i'm outside i was outside every weekend i was drinking every weekend and i could see it in my body not only could i see it i could feel it in my body like i would just be really sluggish and just down i'm like why am i feeling this way and it's because i was eating like crap i'm supposed to be on this new diet because i'm going on vacation soon and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see that vlog but i'm going on vacation soon i was like i gotta get this right not only am i going on vacation soon my birthday is coming up. But besides all that, it's like, girl, you spent all this money on a body. You don't want to ruin it. You want to maintain and maximize your results. So intake a lot of water a day, guys. I try to drink a gallon of water a day. And I've been good with it. Though. Like this last week, I've been really good with it. I stopped drinking alcohol because the alcohol was like breaking on my skin. And I told you, I made me feel really sluggish. So I stopped with the alcohol. Um, and I just want to eat better. I am doing a keto diet until I go on vacation. So if you're interested in seeing any keto meal preps, let me know down below. Because I will definitely share them with you guys. But I did keto before my surgery. And I lost over 50 pounds i think either 40 or 50 pounds but i can insert like a before picture and an after picture um of me losing the weight before surgery so it's like i did it before surgery i know i could do it after it's just really easy to do when you already look good like before i was losing weight so i could look and feel good you know and now i already look good and i already feel good i just need to lose the weight for my health benefits you know because i don't need to be eating bad um and the weight will come back it's not like a permanent fix surgery like the surgery doesn't fix everything you have to maintain them and i really want to get in the gym and start weight thing because i want to tone up especially my stomach and my arms i realized like after the surgery my arms became an insecurity my, oh my, God, my arms are big but they're not even really that big but you start to notice other things about yourself moving on i'm going to show you different creams and oils that i use to help me maintain my bbl results the first thing which is almost empty <laughs> is bio oil guys bio oil if you haven't seen my bbl videos or anything i talk about bio oil all the time if you haven't seen those videos i'll leave them linked above and down below again but bio oil helps me so much with 
I have really, guys, you think they're bad now, but look how it's gotten so much lighter. If you guys go watch my old video, you will see how dark this was. And it was from my thigh high because I would wear thigh high, of course, with no bra. And then the band would be really tight. So it will rub up against here and create some hyperpigmentation. Bio oil has been helping me clear that up, but has also been helping me clear up my scars. Another thing that I use for my scars is this cocoa butter skin therapy oil, guys. I just got this. As you can see, it's not used much, but I just got this that I've been rubbing on my stomach. I've been rubbing it on my scars. And I will insert a picture of my scars under my boobs now like they're almost gone they are almost gone guys the three stars that i have right underneath my stomach they're lightening up they're not completely gone yet but they are definitely lightening up and i'll insert a picture for you guys as well but make sure you get you some cocoa butter oil i also have shea butter that i've been using but not as much as my cocoa butter oil and my cocoa butter lotion i also use that too on my body and my massage therapist always told me to get an oil and rub it on my butt so i've been using almond oil and rubbing it on my butt she recommended oh avocado oil or it was a different type of oil but she said get a fatty oil get a healthy fat oil and you just rub it on your butt and massage it on your butt now since we're talking about massages and stuff i'm about to talk about compression i have stopped going into the shop because money first of all money make sure you have money saved up for the surgery i had money saved up after my surgery so many things came unexpectedly like i had to pay for school out of pocket and then me and my boyfriend are moving so we're also trying to stay for that we're about to go on vacation i'm trying to stay for that as well and i got bills so it's like yeah yeah like life happens but but because of this i've learned how to maintain my bbl results at home through massages with therapy and my at-home cavitation machine i'm going to show you my different forms of compression first and then tell you how i massage myself at home guys y'all know the number one form of compression of course is always going to be your five here is my faja. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. I don't have it on, as you can see. Um, but it's a Trevito faja. I leave their Instagram right here, and I love this faja. It is in a size. It's that size medium, and I got this faja two weeks after I came home um, for my surgery. No, I'm like a week after I came home for my surgery. I got put into the stage two faja, so I got put into my stage two faja a little bit sooner than I should have been, but it didn't mess up my results at all. I started going to a knowledgeable massage therapist. Her name is Shay. So if you're in the DMV area, make sure you check her out. Her shop is called Knickknacks Lady Lounge. So make sure you check her out but she's very knowledgeable and she helps me put it on and everything so when i first put my stage two faja on of course i had lipo foams all on each side front back and two on the sides and i put on my ab board so this is the ab board that i have and i would not recommend it at all as you can see it has like it's, it's dusty because i don't use it i really do not use it um if you're gonna get an ab board i recommend that you get an ab board that is just like all flat doesn't have the things on the side because it moved a lot and it's, it's just not firm at all so make sure you have an ab board that's just one piece and make sure it's hard so you can press it up against your stomach so i was in the stage two five high for a while i was running for a while until i got down on the fourth hook on my five high and then my massage therapist is like okay go get it taken in so i got it taken in on two inches on the sides of my waist and now i still currently wear that with um on the fourth hook as well with um all foams on all four sides and i don't have ab board or backboard when I wear that. I know girls like to wear that faja without the lipo foams, but I like the extra compression that it gives with the um, lipo foams. I am thinking about getting a stage three faja so I don't have to wear the lipo foams with it and it could just be a hard rotted faja. Now, these are options that I wear when I don't feel like wearing a faja, when it's too hot outside or it looks too bulky in the outfit. These are things that I recommend. Obviously, I'm gonna recommend the waist trainer. I got this waist trainer off of Amazon, right? And I looked at the size chart and I was like, mm, I don't know what size I should get. Whoa. I got this size and it's already on the third loop. So I have to size down again already. Um, I might give this away to somebody else because I used it only like two times, but it is a really good alternative. Guys, I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. I do live in the city and I'm right next to the window. But like I was saying, the waist trainer is always a great alternative when you don't want to wear your fat hat. Um, it just looks really good underneath clothes. And I always recommend putting a t-shirt over top of this. And if I didn't say before, make sure you always put a t-shirt between your lipo foams and your skin when you're wearing, um, of course, your fat hat and your lipo foam so you don't get fat hat burn or lipo born or anything like that or you don't get indentations left in your skin a t-shirt is always important i honestly wear a t-shirt underneath my waist trainer and then a t-shirt on top so you won't see these lines through my clothing now when i really feel like i'm being lazy and i don't want to put the waist trainer or the file on i get me a binder okay so my massage therapist got me this binder and i'm show you what it looks like so it is literally just a long piece of fabric, but it is stretchy. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to put my binder on. So guys, this isn't gonna be really in depth, but I'm gonna show you me doing it by myself. It is better if you have someone that helps you, but you just take this part without the back off side and put it on one side and then have somebody else pull this and you turn while they're wrapping it. So I'm gonna show you, you wrap it around now, granted this isn't as tight as it normally would be. You take it and you continue to pull it all the way around into the other side. 
and then you Velcro it. So if somebody else was helping me do this, it will be a lot tighter, but um, it helps me compress. Um, obviously it's not really tight right now, but it definitely helps me compress. So the only thing that I don't like about the binder is sometimes when you sit, it rolls down into itself. Um, so it's a little bit uncomfortable when it rolls up, but I can say the same thing about the waist trainer though, because if you have high hips or lats, um, the waist trainer on the side, I like to roll it up so it's not sitting and pushing into my hips or my lats. So that's just one thing to consider, but I don't really care how people compress. I just recommend compression. Um, I did go like a few, weeks without compression and i definitely definitely felt the the results of what happens when you don't have compression it is not fun at all i still get burning i still get itching i still get tenderness i still get the little whatever it is it feels like you know how when your your foot is asleep or a body part is asleep and you get the tingles that's how it feels like up and down my back um it's still parts of my back that are sore or kind of numb like where i can't feel the like if somebody touches me completely like i can feel you're there but i can't feel it i don't know how to describe it so my skin is definitely still healing so um you know you're not fully healed until you're like six months so i got two more months but i'm trying to compress 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 every day um until i get to my six months mark no matter what the form of compression is another form of compression which i don't use is ace wrapping i didn't like ace wrapping for the same reason i don't like the binder because it rolls up on you and i just don't feel like it was compressing as much as a faja or a waist trainer does so guys i'm going to tell you about my at-home cavigation machine before i tell you about that i'm going to tell you about some insecurities that i had after surgery like i said in the beginning of my video I lost a lot of weight before surgery and of course losing weight really fast comes with loose skin like especially after surgery you know that's taking out all the fat in your stomach instantly at one time it's hard for your skin to retract back and snap back into how it was I'm gonna show you guys my stomach and the areas that I'm insecure with and what I've been using to help them so this is like a lot of loose skin that I have um right here is a keyboard from a piercing so that wasn't the doctor's fault at all but as you can see I have like a lot of loose skin um and it is an insecurity of mine. Some of it is fat, however, but most of it is loose skin. And my doctor told me that I would need a mini tummy tuck, but I'm not ready for a tummy tuck until after I have kids. And as you can see, I have some stretch marks on my stomach, which this cocoa butter oil has been helping with. So one thing that I have been using is a black owned product and it's called Slimy Sauce. And I will leave their Instagram right here on the side. But here is the sauce. And it tells you all the ingredients that it's made out of. And it kind of has like, it's not a weird smell, but it definitely has a smell to it. I can't describe the smell, but I've been using it. So you're supposed to take a small size. I'll show you guys on camera. You're supposed to use it twice a day. And it says the size of a quarter. I think that might be a little bit more, but let me show you. So I take it and anywhere I feel like I have extra skin or fat that I want to get rid of, I rub it on there. Okay, so that is how I use my slimy sauce. And it really has been helping. I've only been using it for about two weeks now. My profile told me about it. So thank you so much, Lydia. But guys, this thing is the truth. I've been seeing results already now. Granted, it's not like I got a tummy stuff, but... You see how much left I have in this jar, guys? I still have a lot. So it's like, by the time I'm done this jar, I'm gonna be snatched, yo. I'm gonna be snatched. Okay, really quick. Last thing I wanna talk about is my at home cavitation machine. Now, I did get it from a surgery sister. Her name is Jazz. So shout out to you, Jazz. She also went to Dr. Mejia around the same time that I did in March. Um, and she had an extra one. And she just gave it to me. So I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much because I wouldn't have this without her. I wouldn't even know what it was without her. Um, she is a nurse and she definitely put me onto a lot of stuff and sold it. Like, like the other surgery sisters in my group guys it really helps out like a lot of stuff that i didn't know you know i'm young some people a lot of people that were getting the surgery were older than me so not much older than me but they were older than me and they were very knowledgeable and they thought about things that asked questions on things that i would have never even thought to ask questions about so here is the machine and it has a bold button okay button up and down button so on this little screen right here it has infrared sonic ems tap massage knee scrape and slimming okay so it has all those different features and it does come with so it comes with these and you're supposed to take them off and attach them to your skin now i don't really use these as much as i use the um cavitation part or the infrared parts um whatever part you call that's heated up so I don't really use them as much, but I have used them before and you can feel that actually tapping on your skin is crazy, but um, that is the EMS system. So this, I really just use it for the infrared system and for skin tightening. When I use this, I always use an oil. I just put my slimy slim sauce, but, and I normally wouldn't do that before I do the machine. I usually use my Palmer skin therapy oil or my bio oil, just a little bit and rub it around. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. So here is the machine has mode okay up and down and then you see infrared sonic ems tap massage knee scrap and slim i have it here and it is on and this is the side where you plug in the ems system these to attach to your stomach so i have it in a hit mode and then the lights come on when i click up 
hit okay and then there it is and it will start to heat up it is so easy guys really easy to use and i rem i don't know if i have the name of it but this is literally what it looks like and then i'm going to show you how i use it on my stomach Hey guys so that is pretty much all that i do to maintain my bbl results it's pretty easy but it's a lot of work <laughs> like it's easy but it's a lot of work and it's very tedious and it gets repetitive so these are things that you just have to do constantly over and over again they're not hard things to do but along with this i do recommend going to see somebody for um wood therapy cavitation machines like if you do the at-home cavitation machines here and there that's good but if you can afford to go out and have bigger machines and better machines for your skin and skin tightening I recommend that you do that. I do plan to do that just to help me with the loose skin, like I said. Now, me maintaining it at home, it's working for me, but in the future, I do want to book more appointments with skin cavitation machine therapy and wood therapy. Now, wood therapy is also just another way to tighten up your skin and get rid of some fat. If you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. If you're on this BBO journey with me, let me know your surgery date. Let me know your doctor. Let me know about any other procedures that you're thinking about getting, and maybe I may share what i'm thinking about getting next with you guys as well but anyways i thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe and shout out to all my new subscribers y'all y'all really holding it down i'm so close to a thousand subbies so i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.